Hi guys, so I'm so excited to see the news that SketchUp has just released their 2024 version a couple of hours ago and I wanted to immediately try it out and of course give you some feedback about it. So in this video I will talk about two new implementations they have added. We will talk about the new graphics engine and about the new ambient occlusion styles. So the first and I guess best implementation they have upgraded to a new graphics engine that is supposed to provide faster navigation and responsive. So while I opened this big file with multiple tags on, I did notice some orbiting improvements already. However, let me quickly go to my settings. So under the graphics settings, we can now choose between the new graphics engine and the classic graphics engine. I suppose they kept the old one too, in case some older computers may not handle it that well. So as I mentioned before, I could already feel an improvement in orbiting, but once I turned off the use maximum texture size, it was way way better. I did notice a huge performance improvement compared to the 2023 version. It took maybe one or two minutes to be applied, but definitely they have done something wonderful here. I don't have those bounding boxes when orbiting around as before. I also wanted to check the new speed for the SketchUp warehouse. As I remembered, it kind of got slow in 2023. Even that has improved and now it's faster than before to get models into already big files. Anyway, for those of you who know me from my course, I usually tend to download furniture in a separate file, but you could see importing from the warehouse directly is faster already. Now we can also switch between scenes in almost light speed. Even clicking on layers become faster. Well guys, there's nothing left to say. Get the new 2024 version. So speed has increased, that's great. Now let's have a look at another fun update they have incorporated. The ambient occlusion style. For those of you who are not familiar with styles in general, usually when selecting a template in SketchUp, it automatically has assigned a specific styles to your file. But you can always adjust the style afterwards. So open the window styles on your Mac or on the windows you have it already with the rest of your windows on the side. You can see that I have the default template activated, which is under default interior. Now this tab here is new and it's called ambient occlusion. I guess they want to try to make the views more realistic by adding shadows. So I have tried out those styles. Most of them wouldn't be something I would particularly use, but I had a closer look to the interior specific and the exterior specific style. They definitely look more realistic in general compared to the standard style. However, you need to reduce the shadow transparency and update it temporarily. Now to make it look even more realistic, we can turn on our sun change the sun direction and now I noticed my lines seem a little blurry. I can adjust my edge setting color maybe to something darker. And now let's compare both styles. I found this great. This adds so much dimension and shadows to the overall look and pretty much looks like a rendering. So yeah, this is something I would definitely use for my project, especially after making those small adjustments by decreasing the shadows, turning on my sun and yeah, this combination works great now. I think those two new improvements make it already worth it to download and install the new 2024 SketchUp version. Maybe in the next couple of days I will create some more videos talking about further implementations. Hope you like this video and can't wait to try out the new version. Have a wonderful day.